Welcome back to Rock the JVM. I'm Daniel, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy a Scala function to AWS Lambda. Now, this video is for Scala developers of all levels. I make no assumptions in this video, only that you're curious about how Scala can work on AWS Lambda. In fact, in this article, we'll write less code than ever in the Rock the JVM channel, and I will demonstrate how to deploy a Scala application to AWS Lambda step by step. Now, as always, I'll recommend that you follow me in this video. Follow me with writing the code, the simple code that we have, and deploy it with me. It will only take a few minutes. This video will prove the most valuable for the most active of you. And uh, when you need to refresh your memory about how AWS Lambda works with Scala, just refer back to this video or to its written form at rockthegvm.com forward slash blog with the link in the description of this video. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can run a Scala function on AWS Lambda in just a few minutes. So let's go back to a project here that I've just created from scratch. So for this video, it's worth creating a new Scala application or a new Scala project from absolute scratch, create an SBT one, and uh, simply create a simple Scala application under source main Scala. I'm going to create a package here. I'm going to call this demo Lambda. And under the demo Lambda, I'm going to create another Scala class. I'm going to name this demo Lambda. You don't need to make this class an object because we're not necessarily running a main method, but rather we're executing an arbitrary method of this class. And I'm going to define a method called execute. And execute takes no arguments and returns an int, for example. And uh, in this code, I'm going to simply print something to the console, like I'm running on AWS and I'm going to simply return an int like the meaning of all life. So this tutorial assumes that you have some sort of Scala project and you want to execute the method of some class on AWS. And this is what we are doing here. Now, after you've written this magical code, you will need to package your application with your favorite build tool. I'm going to use IntelliJ, as you can see in this video. You can also use SBT or whatever other build tool for Scala that you like. And here in IntelliJ, I'm going to go to Project Structure. So I'm going to go File, Project Structure, which you can access by Command semicolon or Control semicolon on Windows, if I remember correctly. And go to this Artifacts menu on the left-hand side, which shows empty right now, and click on this plus icon to add a jar. And uh, you will need to select for Modules with Dependencies. And uh, from this small pop-up that will show up, you will need to choose a module whose class path you will need to include. And I'm also going to fill in the main class, although I don't think that's really necessary. So I'm going to use demo lambda dot demo lambda. And check out this radio box here uh, to extract to the, tar the target jar. So all the dependencies, including the Scala libraries, are going to be included in the final jar. And then you can click OK. So right now you have the definition of a jar, click on apply and then OK in this dialog box. And in order to build this project, you will need to go to build and then say build artifacts. Once you select build artifacts, you will get a small pop up here to select the artifact that you want to build. We only have one, simply say build. The compiler will instantiate and will take a few seconds for your application to create. And notice we have this little out folder here, which will hold the jar that we are going to deploy to AWS. And if you uncollapse here, you have out artifacts, demo lambda jar, and you have a single jar over here. So remember this path that you have over here because you're going to upload this jar to AWS. Now, after you've done all of this, Go ahead and open a browser tab on your computer and navigate to AWS. So AWS Amazon.com or console AWS Amazon.com. And then go ahead and log in to your AWS console. If you don't have an account, pause the video and create one. It shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes. And once you create your account and log in and navigate to console AWS Amazon.com, you have the myriad of services that AWS offers you. Just search for Lambda and click on here. And this will bring you to your AWS Lambda dashboard, which will hold all your functions if you have deployed any. Now, um, if you're just starting out with AWS Lambda, you will have this table empty naturally, and you will click this 
orange create function button over here. And this will bring you to the create function wizard. I'm going to name this rock the JVM demo Lambda Scala. And here from this drop down, I'm going to select a Java runtime. So I'm going to select Java 8. Java 8 is preferred. You can also use Java 11 for the purpose of this video. That should also work. I've tested it. And uh, you don't need to choose or create an execution role. AWS will create one for you. And then click this orange button to create a function. It should only take a couple of seconds. And after you're done, you will get into a dashboard that is specific to your function. So notice that AWS has created this dashboard for me, Rock the JVM Demo Lambda Scala. Now, you need to do a couple of things. First, go to this function code section of this dashboard, and click on this actions button, and then click on upload a zip or a jar file. And then when this dialog pops up, click on upload and then select your jar that you've just built a minute ago. I'm going to select that and I'm going to click on save and this will take some time to upload and then store this jar in AWS Lambda. All right, good. Now, uh, if you need some more time, simply pause the video and we're going to carry on from there. So this was the first thing that we need to do. We need to upload our jar. Then we need to go down and uh, go to basic settings and click on edit over here. And in, under basic settings, you still can choose the runtime that you want to use for this function. I'm still going to choose Java 8. I just wanted to prove that you can dynamically choose this after your function is created. But this handler here is very, very important. And this is the method of the class that you want to execute. And right now you have hello from the package example and the method is handle request. And this follows the Java notation. So we are going to pass in the fully qualified class name from our Scala application, which is in my case, demo lambda dot demo lambda and then colon colon and then I'm going to pass in the method execute. You don't need to change anything else here. You don't need to change the timeouts or the memory uh, used or the existing roles or something like that. Um, the AWS console has already set up for you. Good. Then you click OK and then you get packed into this main dashboard for your Lambda. Now you have everything set. You need to set up a test uh, event for your function so that you can run it on AWS. So click on this test button at the top of the page and a dialog will pop up and uh, this will uh, spin up a small event which will be considered as input for your function. I'm going to also attach some uh, documentation that you might need for uh, passing inputs to your functions. So I'm going to simply uh, choose this template. I don't really need an input for my function. I'm going to uh, name this test event. And then I'm going to say create. And notice that this drop down to the left of this test button populated with this single entry over here. And uh, after this entry is being selected, make sure you select it if you haven't done that. Click on this test button. You have everything set up. Click on test and AWS will actually run your jar. And if everything went correctly, you will see this very interesting green box over here and click on details. You will have all the details of this particular test run. And um, the end result of this of the function invocation is being displayed at the top and in our case is the number 42 because that's what we returned from the method and you have a bunch of details over here and you also have all the logs that this function actually produced including everything that you printed to the standard output and this string i'm running on the ws was something that we printed from our application so uh, this is essentially it so in just about eight minutes, you deployed your first Scala function to AWS Lambda. This is very powerful. I'm also going to include some documentation links in the video to help you understand how you can also create more complex functions on AWS with Java or Scala. Now, if you like this video, go ahead and click the like button for me and subscribe for more videos like this and follow us on Twitter and LinkedIn for fresh updates on upcoming material. Now, I'm dying for feedback, so please leave your comments. I read every single one. 
and check out the Rock.jvm website for lots and lots of content like this. I'm Daniel, signing off, waiting for you in the next one. Thank you.